In this video, we are playing the brand new update inside of Haze Peas. And thank you to the developers for giving me early access to this update, including the brand new fruits, maps, bosses, sword, and new accessory, which I will be showing off in this video. But if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out this channel. But let's go ahead and get started because these brand new fruits are actually really fun to use. The only real question is, are they better than gear five? We'll have to see. All right, let's do this. So they've added in this update actually quite a bit of things. And from the looks of it, there are three new islands for us to explore too. I'm not sure which one I'm on. I think I'm on this one. But they definitely raised max level a lot because last max level island was level 3000 and now it goes up to 3450. So a lot of grinding for levels in this update. They're adding in two brand new fruits in this update. We have soul and dough. A legendary and a brand new mythical. Which I have been given to by the developers because I am currently in the test server. So this is going to be as rare as dragon. That's going to be interesting. Hey, I might get lucky if I if I do my double dragon luck from the main game. I might be able to get dope pretty easily. But they added that and they also added in one brand new sword. Let me find it. Here we go. The doe trident. Here's a brand new sword. We have a drill thrust. That's pretty good. Then a trident slam, which teleported me. Okay, really good sword. That is going to be a 50% chance drop from the super boss, which I'll explain how you spawn him in a moment. And then there's also a brand new accessory, Doe Garf, which I think replaces like the back item. So if I have this on and I put this on, yeah, it replaces the cloak. But 150 stamina and 10% fruit damage. So this is going to be the new best hat in the game, but it's going to be insanely rare. It's a 10% drop from the super boss. This one also apparently gives plus one dodge, but it doesn't say so right here. But yes, very good accessory. I'm definitely going to be grinding for that one. And also the sword. The sword looks pretty cool too. I'm going to just go ahead and quickly explain how you can spawn the super boss. And I'm just going to let you know now it's going to be so much fun to do. It's going to be it's going to be so difficult. But a mirror quest, you have to present a mirror fragment. Let me transform real quick. You have to give a mirror fragment, which you can get as a 1% drop from Big Mom on, I think, this island over here. Yeah, this is Cake Island. You can tell because it's made out of cake. But if you fight a Big Mom, which I think is this one. Yeah, this is Big Mom. She's labeled as Soul Boss. I think Cake Boss would be better because she's obsessed with cake. But let's go ahead and beat up this boss. I just want to see how difficult it is. Because we are max level gear five. Which is what a lot of y'all gotta be. That didn't do too bad. I got 19% left. So just two extra attacks. Yeah, there we go. They beat a big mom. And he beat her up till you get the 1% drop mirror fragment. Which you can then take to Doe Island, which is where my spawn set right now. To this person right here. Which I can't do right now, obviously. And he's gonna have you collect 10 donuts, which are a 1% drop chance from any of the new NPCs sees on the new island so all three of these islands all have a chance to get have a drop a one percent donut you need 10 of them and then after that you can access the mirror world i think i don't know if it's a one-time thing to actually access it but you can access the mirror world by going through the mirror and you can pay 50 gems to spawn the dough boss on a two hour cooldown. I'm pretty sure you only need to do the mirror fragment thing once and all the donuts once, but that's how you can spawn the super boss once every two hours to actually get the scarf and the dough trident. So you're gonna wanna find a server of people that are constantly spawning it, essentially, for the best chance. But I mean, it's a 10% chance drop for the hat. So I think once you get to that point, you should be able to get it quite quite fast but let's go ahead i want to start using the fruit i'm guessing the first we're going to use is the soul fruit which is the new legendary let's go and eat that there we go also before i actually use it oh god okay there we go didn't work out exactly as planned because they disable back items i'm guessing i can do this to replace it there we go okay no we look a little better now <laughs> But yes, the soul fruit. Look at that. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. And we have all these abilities. Let's go ahead and use the first one, which is a soul snatch. Hold Z, nothing. I let go of it. Okay, so I think that might be a lifesteal. One second. Let me take some damage real quick. Okay, there we go. If I go ahead and do soul snatch. Yeah, there we go. It healed me. So wherever you click, it'll steal health. So I, yeah, look. So if I click over here away from enemies, it won't steal anything because I missed. That's actually kind of cool. So Z is a lifesteal. Then we have a thunder strike. Hold nothing. Let go. That's not too bad. 7,600 damage. Just has two hits there. Let me actually kill one of these guys. I just want to do one. Okay, let's do this with the best gear also. So that and Dragon Horde. So we have the max damage we can have. So Z does 3,800 damage, but it's also instant. That's not too bad. Then Thunderstrike, 4,230. Not too bad. Then for our C ability, we have Flamethrower, which I'm holding. That's pretty good. And I got a donut. I think he might have given me the Mirror Fragment. Do I already have the Mirror Fragment? I don't think I do. So I'm guessing that means you can get donuts at any time. Time. That's good to know. 
Like, I have one of the 10 donuts that I need in the testing server. Cool. Let's see. How much damage does this do total? So the entire flamethrower, which appears to stun enemies, does 8,000 damage. If you get caught in that, you're losing a lot of health. Then we have Thunder Rain. Hold nothing. Let go. Another 8,000... Oh, I'm gonna say 8,000 damage because I had some more enemies too. Really wide AoE on that too. Like, look at that. That's actually quite good. Very good abilities. And then we have a B Firebomb. Hold nothing. Let go. Not too bad. That's a semi-instant attack. And we have Cloud Cruising, which appears to just be similar or maybe slower than Gear 5 Fly. Honestly, really smooth. This is probably one of the better souls I've used. I'm mainly comparing right now to the one other soul I've used, though, <laughs> recently, which was the King Legacy one, which was very delayed on all the abilities. These are all really fast, though. I like this one. Really good fruit. But honestly, I still think Gear 5 is better. You can't exactly beat Gear 5. That one is so powerful. And before we go ahead and use the Doe Fruit, let me just go ahead. I want to just see how much I could do to this tree boss with this fruit. Like, if I just use everything. Honestly, not too bad. A good amount of damage. Everything's really fast, too. And one of the benefits is because it's not a transformation fruit, you can actually, like, mix in other abilities, too. I mean, it won't, it won't deal too much more damage, but it's not too bad. Let me go try fighting myself real quick. Oh, and the developer just gave me a mirror fragment. Can I store it? No, I actually need to go over there and give it to him. Okay, so after you get it, you have to run it over. So make sure you're in a server grinding with allies and not nerdy bounty hunters for real. Because you do not want to get the 1% drop then die with it. That would be so bad. But yes, fight the boss. How much can we do? So with one combo, we did about 49%. I also forgot to hold this. One second. Yes, yeah, so we did down to 43%. So overall, gear five does deal more damage, but that makes but that does make more sense because gear five is much more difficult to get than just getting soul fruit. Fruit. All right, let's head back and let me go turn in this mirror fragment so that way I, I can equip the next fruit. Donuts. Donuts has appeared in the mirror world. Okay, so one of them just spawned in the mirror boss. Well, I was also given donuts. I'm guessing let's just go ahead and turn in the entire quest. There we go. So we turn in the mirror fragment. So I lost my mirror fragment. And I talk to you again and I can unlock mirror world for 10 donuts. There we go. Now we have access to enter the mirror. And I'm guessing that's permanent. Cool. Well, before we fight that boss, I want to go ahead and I want to use the mythical doe fruit. Let's use it. Our next transformation. And also, we can't forget to look the part. Not gonna lie, the Katakuri skin looks so good. Let's see, six abilities. Our first one is Power Mochi. Hold it, nothing. Let go. Does a punch. That was, that was kind of cool. 4,000 damage too. Let me do that from a different angle. Yeah, look at that. That's really good. Then we have a grilled mochi. Hold nothing, let go. Another 4,000 damage. Also gave me a new fist model. Look at that. The hockey mixed with fire. That is awesome looking. Let's see. Next one is doe minigun. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Let me use that one more time. I want to see the damage on it. Okay, that's pretty good. That's actually really fun to use. 8,800 damage. Like, that does hit really, really hard. How much range does it have? Can I like, aim all the way over there? I can. Look at that range. Oh my lord. It hits all the way to those donuts. That is amazing. Yeah, look at that. That is some insane range. I like that one a lot. Okay, let's see. Next one is rapid punches. Hold nothing, let go. Oh, that's good. I'm liking this fruit. So just to see. 8,300 damage. Another really big heavy hitter. And then you like rapid fire all those after. Okay, let's use the last one. And this one's actually the best one. I already know what this does. Hold B. Let's go. That is amazing. Of course, I died right after, though, because they got put right next to me. <laughs> that is awesome, though. What if that would do more damage, though? Everything that comes in range. Honestly, not too bad. I didn't do any damage, though. I mean, that's what that's a bug. But, like, look at that. Everything in range gets grabbed. I'm guessing it does damage at the end. It did 18,000 damage to two enemies there. Honestly, not too bad. It's much better in PvP, though, I imagine. Because your enemy can't do anything until the end. Interesting. I bet I'll deal damage to all of the enemies because I didn't deal to all of them. Probably just the bug. But let's see. Rolling donuts. Okay, that's good. The movement's nice. It also apparently goes up walls. Yeah, look at that. It does get stuck on ledges, though. Keep that in mind. Really fast, too. Let me head over to the Big Mom boss. It also goes on water. And it's not taking stamina. Man, this is fast. You're not flying, but it is really fast. But I want to compare the damage because I think I got it really low with gear five base abilities. Uh, let's see how much I can I can do with one set. That is so nice. The wall riding and everything. You can basically do this forever. I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and use the abilities. So this one, this one, no minigun. Then this one. 
And then this one, which doesn't grab the boss. Let me try that one more time. I got down to 49% with one of each ability. There we go. Okay. I think she was just too close. Yeah, 31%. Honestly, not too bad. And then just didn't deal damage that time. Okay, so this one's a little bit busted, I think, right now. Hopefully it's fixed when they actually release it. Does this deal damage? Okay, that deals damage too. I can deal a thousand damage with this attack. That is hilarious. I can just do this to bosses. That is really fun. But yes, very, very good fruit. I can't tell if it's actually better than gear five or not. I feel like gear five is still technically going to be better, which makes sense. But like still, 9,000 damage on the B attack. That's actually really good. You can easily kill somebody if you do it right with this fruit. But now for the ultimate question, how difficult is the Doe boss? One that drops the new sword and accessory. He's already spawned in. Okay, well, let's beat him up. Beat up my brother because we look exactly the same. Look at us go. He just, he just looks slightly more angry than me. All right, let's do it. About 3% with that attack, 2% with that attack, 6% with that attack, rapid punches, 4%, and then we have the big attack, which dealt like 6%. Honestly, not too bad. And the fact that I can just rapid minigun him between cooldowns is really nice. Yeah, you can definitely stun lock with this blood there's like every single one of these attacks has some kind of stun yep i like this fruit Four thousand bounty one experience and 35 gems i already have the accessory so i can't see if i can get lucky or not but he has very good fruit i actually like this fruit a lot and here's the boss by the way if you give him 50 gems you can spawn him in i'm not going to though because i don't need <laughs> okay brokey i see how it is i just don't need to fight you so that's why i'm not doing it I and mean, before we end i want to go look at the peanut island which is the first new island in the update okay that ledge getting stuck under ledges is kind of annoying though <laughs> i'll have to keep that in mind when rolling around because you just straight up can't you just can't get unstuck unless you stop rolling but yes here it is peanut island you can get a lot of air with this one too my lord who's the boss here it is peanut boss oh my gosh it's like peanut from scp that is hilarious man i'm excited to get this in the actual game I mean, if I equip one of the new fruits, it's definitely going to be Doe. Because Soul is good and all, but like Soul is definitely not better than Gear 5. I think Doe can compete, though. I mean, it better. It's the mythical. But yes, let me know down in the comments. What do you think of the two new fruits? I'm personally excited to grind for the new accessory and sword. It's going to take a while to get started because the mirror fragment is going to be a pain. But considering you can get donuts without the mirror fragment, that part's going to be really easy. I already got one in this video. Oh, okay, and let's see how much is the permanent. I think it might be the same. Yeah, okay, Doe permanent is the same as Dragon permanent. And Soul isn't too bad. It's cheaper than most legendaries. Oh, that one has range to it too. The X and Z have pretty good range to it. All right. Grouping everything up. And slam. And it just didn't deal damage, so I got stun locked. Dang it. I hope they fix that.